Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm shaking these FW paints. I'm going to put them, I went to Michael's, uh, I got my dog groomed today, and PetSmart is right near Michael's, so I um, went over because I was seeing a, a commercials for 70% off, you know, and um, so I thought, well, I'll go take a browse. Um, I, like I said, I haven't been buying a lot and just really wanted to see if there were any really good deals so of course i had a browse i spent about 20 bucks but the scrapbooking aisle completely changed i think i spent 20 minutes in that aisle <laughs> just examining everything they got a ton of tim holtz stuff and guess what they got the diane reevely paints all 12 colors um you know and so i figure i could get them one at a time with coupons um, and get a few that way. Um, I didn't get any today um, and I had a 50% off coupon too, but that doesn't mean I won't go tomorrow. Um, you know, I have a lot of paint, so again, I'm not, I don't need it. Um, I know it does different things, so I'll probably try it, but like I said, I didn't need it. And uh, they have the Recollections. I think there's another brand too. Recollections. Sorry, I'm a little winded. Um, can't think of the name of it. Art and Company or something like that. I don't have anything. Uh, but anyway, they have a lot of cool stuff. A lot. They had all new Tim Holtz stuff. But this is a Recollections Mini Mister. And these were 40% off. So I got, instead of $5.00. I got two for, because I was going to get the three pack of the, I think they're Ink Essentials, right? But these looked identical, and I figured I'd try these. I'm um, going to put the gold um, ink, so I'll shake these off off camera, up off camera, and I'll come back. I'm going to put the golden one, and I'm going to put this, it's called Waterfall Green, but it's like a, an iridescent or a pearlescent teal color so I'm going to put those two in here um, so I got that and then mainly I just got beads because I'm going to do I'm going to get back to the clay and I couldn't resist this is what I spent my coupon on because this was like five dollars I think but look at the bees there's four different bees this one's my favorite and I mean they're just adorable but it has gold bling and black enamel and a black bling there this one's just all gold teal enamel and blue bling and all gold so two all golds and a little blinged out um, these all the green beads were 70% um, off well this one was a dollar 49 but look at those for tiles oops so each one of those I'm going to embed and I think I'm going to make like a garden themed one or a, um, you know, like I'll use fl flower um, stamps, different things like that. This was just kind of silver with a bling in it. They're small, so I like that. 70% off. This was $1.49, so it was even cheaper than 70% than off. This was $1.99. And they're like two-sided, so I mean I'm going to embed that in the clay. Um, I like these because look, they're going to go long ways, and they're just like a navy blue, purple. And this is just too gorge. I should have gotten two of these because I mean, oh my god, I love that color too. So pretty. And then I just love these. The Charmalongs were 40% off. And it says, relax, escape, breathe, refresh, reflect, and beauty. And I used these before on my beach-themed ones. So mainly that's it, and I got two colors of clay. The clay was even, I think, $1.50. Um, and I have a lot of clay, so I didn't want to go crazy, but I just thought for a garden one, I like these colors. So just kind of as inspiration or to remind me. And that's it. That's all I got at Michael's. Um, I got these the other day. These were on clearance, and it is, I think I put them in here. I'm going to do a music note uh, frame. These are Brad's. So I got a lot. I don't know what they're called, 
but I have three, I think, different shapes of music notes in a brad. And these were super cheap. These were on clearance, I think. And um, when I was at, oh, you know, I'll put them in there. When I was at Hobby Lobby, I think I showed you these, but these are so gorge. And these were $2 on clearance. I got two sets of these all gold. So I really need to make my music um, one too. I was going to do that in red and black. All right, so that's that for that. I got these two stencils. Don't know why. Amazon now. Um, I've been wanting this brick one for a long time. And I have the... Uh, I have another one of Diane Reebley's, uh, the one with the dots. Anyway, I've been wanting this one too, so I got those. All right, so let me show you what I did in my art journal. And I think I'm going to do it today. So I did this girl. I don't know if you remember, if you saw my last video, I shared, I did two backgrounds, and they were with the um, FW inks. And I didn't like them. They were like red, blue, and yellow. And, you know, they were what they were. This one I went over and stenciled on top of it. And I just gessoed over it. Kind of with my brayer. And then I drew her. And basically just did her. And then I thought, well, I don't know what else to do. And I just made some danglies. But I think it turned out pretty cute. Like, just for kind of a simple one, without a lot of color. So, and I definitely did it. This one I did my style. So let me get this one. This is my last, this is the last piece I did with Tam. This one was called, I put this on my Facebook page. It's called Wings and Light, Roots and Ground, Wings and Light. And we did a modeling paste. And this is done with mostly wet on wet. And the, um, what are these? Karen Dash. Is that how you say it? These. These are water based Neo Color 2s, the water soluble crayons. Karen Dash. Karen, Karen Dash. And so I bought a few more face colors because Tam uses these a lot and because I'm taking um, Lifebook this year I wanted to have the tools that she uses so that I could follow along with her and she's kind of modeled um, but I like her I think she turned out pretty good and um, I'm learning I'm getting there I'm starting to and I'm just going with it I'm not really holding back and I'm just letting it be whatever it is um, but I use my own techniques sometimes. I I tend to float when I can, when I can shade here and there. Um, so I'm loving that. I'm loving that I'm adding my own style to it. I mean, I love tan style, but that's not how I do it. So this one is totally done with painting and floating the way I always used to do it. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And then the last mixed media morsel that um, Cat Hand did it and she's just doing this little notebook. Oops, I can put the uh, her the link to her channel in my description box because this was the last one and this one was considered masking. And basically you just get a background going and like I said, these were already done, these backgrounds. I jazzed it up more. I added more stuff to it, more color stamping and then I used the Stampenda stamp that I've had and there it comes with a stencil so I took out the, the butterflies and laid them across and I tr actually I traced around them and then I just painted the background blue and um, basically that was it I drew in I went around everything with black marker and drew their little bodies on there and their antennas and that was basically it and I spattered. I spattered over both sections with the blue paint. So, but I like how they turned out and then I used my Daddy Vans on um, 
both of them so they don't stick together. So I'm pretty happy with them. They were fun. I did them yesterday. And I think I'm going to do a little face today. I think I'm going to do it on just a plain page. I'm just going to start out on a plain page. And, um, oops. Yep, I'm going to start out on a clean page. So you know what? I'll come back and I'll do that separately. But I wanted to share that. What else did I want to tell you guys? I'm going to be doing um, a hop. Shannon Green invited me to host a hop or be part of a hop that's on a Facebook page. I really don't know much more about it. I have to figure it out because I have to upload a video before the date and a bunch of stuff I still got to figure out. Um, but I'll let you know. Um, and I'm definitely going to be doing some clay. But I'll be back with a little face tutorial. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.